Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today one more important and interesting video, you know, after quite a good big gap and today once again an important aspect about interviews, core engineering interviews back to the mainstream where we all started from and we are going to discuss today about process dynamics control. Yes, very important. PDC is the subject that we name it. In uh, some other colleges, they name it simply process control. Uh, so when we talk about PDC, what are the important questions that can be asked in the interview or has been asked in the interview in the past seasons as well? I'm going to discuss about that. It's going to be a very short video. So stay with me till the end of the video. So first thing you need to know when you are going for an interview, which is dealing with instrumentation in particular you know you are going in for a design profile for Honeywell UOP you are going in uh, maybe uh, maybe for design consultancy of any firm which particularly creates the PNID structure you are in you are expected to know anything and everything about the instruments that are used there now how do you develop this you know it, it did not develop overnight or they do not want you to be expertise in this field though they want you to know maximum of the things you, there will be some questions that you would not be able to answer but do you know uh, refer to my past videos where I talked about the types of valves and how they are controlled or what they are used for those are kind of uh, the, the minute devices that are used to control the flow so what kind of instruments do we operate in a uh, plant say uh, we operate a uh, rotameter uh, or, or say a flow meter now a flow meter can be an orifice meter a venturi meter difference between orifice meter and venturi meter where do we use what what kind of flow meters should we should we use where do we use rotameter uh, and then uh, talking about you know pressure gauge what kind of pressure gauge we, do we actually keep now all these instruments when you draw on a PNID diagram what kind of specifications are there oh and how are they controlled whether it is a controlled instrument whether it is a feedback control a feed forward control between the two a very common question what is the difference between a feedback control and a feed forward control my friends note it down it can come in any 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 interview that you are appearing for when it is about a process dynamics control so everything related to the valves to the instruments to the flow meters to the pressure meters to the temperature meters to the uh, uh, to the uh, anything that has to do with the measuring of the system any parameters that can be measured by a system uh, is is something to do with the instrumentation part of a process design and you can be asked any question from that instrumentation part if you are dealing with process dynamics control it is about how do you monitor and control uh, the the properties of a process how do you control the pressure if it is increasing suppose in a line a fluid is flowing creating a very high pressure you measure that what do we actually do to control the pressure we create a sensation so what happens is basically if you refer to my past videos as well on PNID diagram you will understand that first a pressure gauge measures the pressure then a pressure transmitter converts the pressure gauge that is the mechanical signal into an electrical signal it goes into a pressure indicator controller PIC uh, and this pressure indicator controller not only indicates the pressure but also controls the pressure there is a set point now the concept of set point has to be very clearly understood now there is a transfer function associated with it whenever the actual value the value that you are operating in the pressure that you are operating in goes above the set point that you have set in the instrument it sends a feedback a feedback my friends uh, through the PIC through the control uh, controller to the final controlling element called the FCE or the actuator now when this happens it triggers the valve movement the valve automatically closes to reduce the pressure by pressure loss of the equipment so it doesn't let the entire fluid gush into the tube creating excess pressure this is how you prevent accidents this is how you prevent flow this is how you prevent pressure this is how you prevent temperature similarly for a temperature control device supposedly a temperature of the reactor is increasing heavily you can use the TIC similarly a temperature element measuring the temperature then converting the physical measurement of temperature into electrical signals a TIC temperature indicator controller reading that indicating that and controlling that triggering the final control element of the actuator that is controlling the valve of the cooling jacket increasing or decreasing the flow of the cooling fluid around the vessel or around the reactor to control the temperature if the temperature shoots above the set point so we regulate the flow of the cooling fluid we 
put up the actuator actually it is done and we have explained it previously as well in one of the valves that how does the globe valve operate it basically reduces the air pressure over the top of the valve so the valve comes out and it creates a gap in the system allowing more cooling fluid to flow into the system and thus cooling the reactor my friends all of these me mechanisms should be crystal clear in your mind when you're going for a process dynamics control interview when you know the interviewer will ask these type of questions to you what are the other things set point must be known what are the other things transfer functions what are transfer functions how do you apply Laplace on it and uh, and an inverse Laplace on it. Uh, how do you actually transfer uh, in the transfer function? How, how do you actually Laplace transform it and how do you convert that? How do you equate that? Those things should be kept in mind, not the rigorous principles of it, but the basics of it should be there. What is feedback? What is feed forward control? Should be there. What is the temperature element? What is the temperature indicator controller? How would you or what would you use to control each of the parameters? What are the parameters that are to be controlled how do you decide on the set point these things must be must be must be covered when you go for a process dynamics control uh, interview moreover you should also be acknowledged you should also be accustomed with the PNID diagram of a plant if you are given a PNID diagram you should be able to read through it which is a valve what is the diameter of the pipe everything you should be able to read through it what kind of valve it is what is the dia of the valve uh, where do you actually use the valve how do you actually trigger the valve what is the uh, forward feed forward or feedback mechanism that is going on here what is the controlling element here you know which uh, system triggers what so that when you actually design the transmission network my friends though our instrument in engineer will be with you but when you go for the commissioning of the plant when you go for the operations of the plant if you know if you do not know how is the actuating element getting controlled what is the trigger point what is the set point you will not be able to do it my friend because the present value in the set point is something that controls the entire plant level indicator one more important factor along with flow temperature pressure level is also a very very uh, important factor if the tank overflows the level indicator is what will save you you know beyond a certain level it will stop the pump or it will close the valve it will do some operations such that no further fluid fills in and this is these are the elements that you will have to study in details where to apply what in which flow streamline to apply what is what they might question you so these are the important topics mostly covers all that will be there in important in pdc i hope you uh, learned something out of the video now you will be more prepared if you like the content like it share it with your friends we are going to bring more content like this subscribe to our channel and hit the bells icon my friends hit the bell icon for regular updates you're not doing that please 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 do the same thank you very much that's it for today